I'm sorry, are you actually kidding me? What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. For today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, we are going to be trying out some more fake designer goodies. I am so excited for this video because I haven't done one of these in a while. I feel like everyone that has clicked on this video and is watching it right now has definitely considered buying fake designer in one way or another at least once in their lives. So today I'm here just to review some of these really interesting fake designer goodies that I have found on this website called AliExpress and I'm buying all these things to review them so you you guys don't have to. If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. But I guess without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right guys, so the very first item we're going to be trying out in today's video comes in this little bag right here and it feels like it's going to be a piece of clothing. So let's crack this open. Oh yes. Oh my god. This looks crazy good. I mean, I usually don't have very good expectations when it comes to fake designer things, but this looks pretty good. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. This is crazy. Wow, this is so nice. So here is the photo of what the listing looks like on AliExpress and oh my gosh. It looks exactly the same. The quality feels amazing. If you guys don't know or don't realize, it's meant to be a fake Balenciaga jumper. They have really gone the extra mile with this item because not only does it have a Balenciaga Paris label stitched inside it, but also it has the tag that makes it look so legit. This is genuinely crazy and the quality feels so nice. Look how stretchy that is. If this fits nicely, this is gonna be my go-to like winter autumn kind of jumper because it's so thick and cozy. I was really worried that this wouldn't be very thick because in the photo you can't really ever tell how thick and how good quality the fabric is ever going to be. So for this to arrive at my house and be this thick, I'm pretty shook about. This is actually really, really nice. So this item actually cost me £30, which I feel like is a little bit pricey for what I would usually spend on fake designer, to be honest. But when you really think about it in the grand scheme of things, a jumper like this would be £30 in like Topshop or Zara. So to get a really nice quality jumper on its own and then also for it to look like a Balenciaga jumper, I think is actually kind of good for £30. Well, 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 we started off the video with a really good item so let's try this on and see how it fits all right guys so here is what the balenciaga jumper looks like on and oh my god it literally fits like a glove it's a little bit long so i actually feel like i could probably even get away with wearing this as like a really mini jumper dress with some shorts underneath probably but this is so cute it fits so nicely it's really cozy and oversized i love that about jumpers and the only thing i've noticed which is kind of annoying is that there's like a little pulled thread right in the center of the jumper i don't I don't really know how to fix it. I've heard that you can maybe like thread it through to the other side or maybe even burn it to kind of like, you know, make sure it doesn't unravel and pull other threads with it. But I think I'm gonna have to do a bit of research. If you guys know how to fix a loose thread like that, let me know in the comments. But yeah, this is so cute. And there's so many ways that you could wear this. You could wear this as like a little dress, as I said, or you could like tuck it into your trousers like this. It's just so versatile. Genuinely, this must be my favorite thing that I have ever bought from the fake designer market in terms of clothing because it's actually really nice quality and I really didn't expect it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. This is definitely a really good buy. Okay, the next item I have is right here. I'm just gonna cover up my address, but it comes in a very small parcel. So let's crack this open and see what's inside. Yes! Oh my gosh, wow. So this is what I purchased off of AliExpress. It's a faux Chanel hat. Now, as obviously we're coming into autumn and winter, this is gonna be perfect. I'm sorry, are you actually kidding me? Look at this. This is so crazy. Oh my gosh, so it says Chanel, obviously, on here, but then it even has a Chanel label. What the hell? The pom-pom is definitely faux fur. I can just clarify that to begin with. It feels very fake and synthetic, but that's fine. That's perfectly fine. That is exactly what we want. We don't want any real mink hair or anything. So let's just try this bad boy on. I'm just really curious to see how it will look on. I'm sorry, is this not the cutest hat you've ever seen? This is actually adorable and it looks so real and it was only 10 pounds. I actually kind of can't believe it. I'm taking the label off so you guys can see what it looks like properly. It's so cute. 
it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I am definitely gonna wear this all throughout winter. I have just decided. This is such a cute hat. It looks so legit. Not only does this look really cute, but it's also a really nice quality hat. It's actually like really nice and thick. It's stretchy and I can tell it's gonna keep your head warm. I've gotta say, I'm very pleased with this purchase. I did not think it would be this nice but it looks so real, so I'm gonna give this a big thumbs up. Okay, now this next item is right here. This is a fake Gucci jacket, I'm pretty sure. I actually can't even remember what I ordered. This was such a long time ago, but here it is. Oh my God, whoa. Look at this. This is definitely, um, something. This is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna say this. It's not really my style, like whatever is going on in the back here. It's like a weird illustration of a weird character. I don't even know what it is. The front is actually kind of cute. It's just black high neck sort of thing. And then it's got like a black and yellow stripe in the front. So I'm definitely digging that a lot, like the front part. So the quality of this jacket feels okay. It doesn't feel amazing. Like this part here, especially the collar feels really cheap. The actual pattern all over the jacket, I mean, at a first glance, it looks pretty legit. It looks like Gucci. Anyone would be able to recognize that. But when you look up close, it doesn't really look the same in my opinion. I think it looks like a cheaper version of it, if you know what I mean. Like from the pattern, you can just tell that this isn't real. Or maybe that's just me, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Does this pa does this pattern look real or can you tell it's fake? And then the fabric obviously carries on to the back where you have this weird uh, iron-on character. It's very like um, plasticky on the back. Uh, I really don't know what this is supposed to be. If anyone knows what this is or what it's inspired by, then let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure maybe this was like a Gucci limited edition kind of range or something that they just clearly ripped off. But I guess now all there's left to do is just try this jacket on and see how it looks. Okay, so this is the jacket I have just placed it over the Balenciaga jumper. So I'm definitely very, very hot and cozy right now. But this is what it looks like on, it looks like this from the back. And I've got to say, it's kind of growing on me. I feel like with the right kind of outfit, this jacket would be really, really cute. Like I said, I'm a really big fan of the front. I think it looks really nice in the front, but it's just the back, like the illustration on the back isn't really my kind of vibe. But front wise, this is actually a really nice jacket. I feel like it would keep me quite warm too. And it has a slight oversized kind of vibe to it as well, which I quite like. Unfortunately, Oh, it does have pockets. Oh my gosh, I was just about to say, unfortunately it probably doesn't have pockets, but it does have some and they're actually zipped, which is amazing. Who doesn't love a zipped pocket? I mean, it's just like the superior kind of pocket, right? In general, the make of this is pretty good. Like it's not got any loose threads. It's not got any mistakes. It's actually pretty nicely made and the quality Overall, it's pretty good. I'm a little bit on the fence about the collar. I just don't know if I like it. I don't think I would zip it up all the way anyway. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Would you guys wear something like this? Would you not? Let me know in the comments what you think of this. I think out of 10, I'm gonna give the jacket like a seven. It's not quite a 10 because I don't really like the back of it, but from the front, I would say it's like a nine out of 10. Okay, the next item we have is actually a handbag. I love trying out fake handbags because I personally don't like to buy real designer handbags because a lot of the time they are made of leather. And because I personally don't buy leather, I actually would prefer to just go for a synthetic fabric or a synthetic leather. So that is why a lot of my handbags that are like designer that I own are actually fake bags. They're not even real. And to be honest, I get the same kind of like vibe and same kind of look to my outfit that I would have with the original bag. So I really don't mind. So I decided to pick up this one. This is a fake Gucci bag. I don't know what star this is. If anyone knows what star this is, let me know in the comments, but it's like that really small one. The first thing I noticed right off the bat is the fact that the GG isn't even a GG, it's a CG. And that is actually what they do a lot in China they actually can't replicate the logo exactly a lot of the time. So they will try and make it slightly different just so they can get away with it. However, to be honest, I would have just preferred if they didn't have the logo at all. I just really like the shape of the bag and the pattern of the bag. Even if it didn't have the GG or the CG, I really wouldn't care. But anyways, here is the bag. This is what it looks like. It has like two straps on the back, like two little, not straps, but like slots where you can attach a strap, I'm guessing. Okay, so this is really interesting. It actually comes with two different straps. It has one that's like this sort of length. It's very, um, 
well, you can just tell it's had better days. And then the other one I'm guessing is a lot longer or maybe not, I don't know. Okay, this one is just like a single strap like this. Honestly, I have no idea how to attach this. Maybe that's what this is for. Oh, I get it. So this is a belt and this is like a, a belt bag. That's actually kind of cool. That's what those little slots on the back are for. So this is how that looks as a belt bag. I really, really dig it actually. I think it's a very, very spacious bag for the size and the quality feels really nice. Like the actual faux leather feels really, really nice and soft and yeah, it's keeping its shape pretty well. All right guys, so here's what the bag looks like on. I just put it on the belt around my waist. Obviously you could put the belt through your actual um, jean loops, but I just decided to use it as like a little belt to kind of cinch this jumper in. I would say the belt is really, really nice. It has quite a lot of leftover belts still, so that's great. Obviously the only thing about this bag is the very obvious fact that they have ripped off the logo and they didn't do it properly. They did it as a CG instead of a GG. But to be honest, that doesn't really bother me too much. I still feel like it's a really nice quality bag that I would definitely get a lot of use out of so I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. Okay now the very last item of today's video is right here and it's actually a top. I don't usually buy fake designer tops because they're actually quite hard to come by really so when I saw this I just knew I had to pick it up and try it for you guys. Again this is from AliExpress and it was just a basic white t-shirt but it had the Givenchy sort of branding on the top of the collar, which I think looked really cool on the model. Okay, so first things first, this is what the top looks like. It's just a simple t-shirt. The fabric just feels actually quite nice. It feels like a regular t-shirt fabric. However, it does have a bit of stretch to it, which I quite like. Then we have the neckline, which looks like that. It just says Givenchy all around it, all towards the back as well. And yeah, there's not really that much I can say about this. It is a very plain and simple shirt. I just really liked it. I thought it was quite cool. It was 20 pounds, which I think is a bit of a ripoff for a t-shirt, especially just a simple plain t-shirt like this. However, I guess it does have the Givenchy branding on the collar. So obviously that's gonna put up the price quite a bit. It is a little bit creased, so I would have to iron this out. Just let's ignore that. But I guess let's go try this on and see how this fits. Okay, so here is what the shirt looks like on. I love this so much. Like I love the sleeve. It's not too short, it's not too long. I think it looks really nice and put together. The shirt is quite long. It comes to about here, but I did tuck it in to kind of, you know, style it how I usually would. And I'm just obsessed. It's such a nice top. It's not see-through from what I can see anyway. And I just think it's really nice and airy and the fabric it feels really nice on my skin to be honest. So I literally don't have anything bad to say about this item, which is quite rare. Also, I just want to mention that the actual high neck collar is quite stretchy so I didn't have any issues putting my big head through it which is great so yeah this is what it looks like all in all I am obsessed with this one I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10 all right guys so that is everything for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below I think it's really cool to see what you can get for your money on all these types of different websites that sell fake designer a lot of the time it can be a flop and as you guys have probably seen from my other videos you can definitely get some very bad dupes. But personally, I think I got pretty lucky in this video. I think everything in this video was kind of nice. I mean, there wasn't anything that I absolutely hated. And considering how little we actually paid for some of these things, I feel like it was pretty good in terms of quality and it was definitely way cheaper than the original thing. Let me know in the comments which one of these items was your favorite. Would you ever wear fake designer? Would you try some of these out? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But I guess that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.